My name is Tyler Saladino. My primary position is shortstop. I can play second and third. Uh, I go to Palomar JC in San Diego, California, and I was class of 07. Junior college for a year, and then you made your way to Oral Roberts University. Talk about your time at Oral Roberts and how it uh, further developed your career. College is a big deal, to be honest, for any baseball player. I mean, it's, it's when you come into pro ball. If you're if you're coming out of high school, you haven't really experienced. I mean, other like older, mature players, and you get to college, you get out on your own, learn how to kind of take care of yourself a little bit more. It makes a big difference coming into something like this with Pro Bowl. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Kelvin De La Cruz. There goes the runner, and the ball gets by the catcher. It'll be a stolen base for Tyler Saladino. And there goes Moncada. 2-2 two -two pitch, a swing, a well-hit ball to left, hooking toward the foul pole. This one's up, and this one is gone! A home run for Tyler Saladino. And the Charlotte Knights, who have not beaten the Bulls on the road this year, trailing 4-0 in the top of the eighth. They were one hit. They take a 5-4 lead on Saladino's three. Saladino. And the 2-1 is ripped towards left field. That ball's going to get up and get out. A home run. A two home run night for Tyler Saladino. A line drive homer into the bleachers in left field. Tyler Saladino having a good night at the plate and at shortstop. He's made some fine plays tonight. Two home runs and nine RBIs. He's 15 for 53. Here's the 0-1. He swings and sends a fly ball to right field. Well hit. Polanco going back. Still going back at the wall. Leaping. It's over his head and off the wall. Saladino turning second. Going for three. Coming into scores to Cody. It's an RBI triple for Tyler Saladino. And the Knights have made it 4-3. to three. They have three. Now the wind up of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Center field. Well hit. Paris going back. Still going. Still going. It's over his head. That's off the wall in center field. Saladino legging for three. And he is in safely with a triple over the head of Ferris in center field. That's the second night in a row he sent one over Ferris's head. Ferris not realizing that ball was going to carry the way it did. And Saladino has a triple. Bring the glove set about chest high. The 1-1 one -one swinging a ball sent out to left field. Going back, Constanza, he's going to watch that ball go for a home run. A line drive that just got over the railing. And Tyler Saladino, his third home run in as many games, and gives the Knights 
like a two to nothing lead. De La Cruz, the first pitch, Saldino rips it high and deep to left. That ball is up and it is gone. A home run for Tyler Saladino. Jumped on the first pitch. And at the belt. There go the runners. Strike and throw a third dot in time. Too big a jump for Saladino. Scared because somebody told you I was up to no good. But I'll do it here. My ball to center field. That's it. Running and running is Gunny Dan. He's still running. He'll make a catch. Well, if you want a catch, it'll score a see. run. But Todd with another sensational catch. The only thing you gotta do is follow me. Like a thief in the night. Way behind the high drive, deep left center. Way back heart, there. Warning track, way heart. back, up, up, gone. A grand slam. I guess I'm just a Tyler Saladino. And now the Charlotte Knights have a 10 to 2 lead. Home run number 3 for Tyler Saladino. This one's a grand slam. Break it up. Meanwhile, he's going to 
you know, I know last off season you had to kill some time, but this year you got to probably go and do stuff that you wanted to do as opposed to sit around and do rehab for five and a half hours a day. Yeah, uh, fishing's been pretty good back home. Yeah? Yeah. What do you fish for? Uh, I like tuna fishing. So deep sea tuna fishing, I mean, is that, I've, I've seen it on television. I've seen kind of the, uh, the the romanticized version of it. Does it get the heart racing as much as, um, you know, playing ball or anything like that? Oh yeah. It does. God, I'm looking at you, you're not kidding. You love this stuff. Yeah. Are you, are you like watching YouTube videos of like 200 pound tunas and, and bringing them in? Yeah, yeah that's... of course. Watch every one just, of them. Just to know exactly what it would be like when that thing hits the line. Yeah, yeah. you try to live that moment with them. Well, I would imagine that you've got to be, you've got to be all locked in on that one, right? I mean, like the, the harness, you, it's like a Jaws situation where you got to clip in and be in the boat and everything, or be in the, in the seat and everything. Yeah, it's like, it's like hooking onto a, uh, to like a truck driving down the road. I mean, full speed. That's insanity. Yeah. If I'm playing shortstop, you have a huge responsibility because you have so much ground to cover. You have, you have so many places to be, so many things to do, so many things to be paying attention to and focusing on throughout the whole game. I mean, you, there's, no, there's no time taken off while you're out there. You know, if there's nobody on, you know, the, whoever the hitter is, you've got a position to be in. And you don't have the time to lollygag and look around and enjoy it. You know, as much as you want to be out there and be like, you know, look, look at this, you know, the field that you're on, all the people, all that. That, that, that kind of stuff, is, you just don't have time for it. So if you're playing shortstop, you've got to know the whole situation. Take a look and see what it is that's going on. Whether there's runners on base, nobody on, um, you know, a, a speedy runner, a lefty, a righty, the pitcher matchup against that hitter, sinker baller, cutter guy, you know, what, what he's got working that day, the types of swings guys are taking off them. And it, the more time I spend out here, the more reads I can get on the hitters that we're facing. So that's where you start to get an understanding of, you know, a guy that will stay inside of the ball a little bit more, or a guy that tends to roll over, or roll over certain pitches, stay inside certain pitches. And you can use that information to see the flight of the pitch, the pitcher and his pitches, where he's throwing the ball that particular day. You start to get a really good feel for what he's got going. And if you know he's got his sinker working, and you've, you've seen that guy swing, when he's got his sinker working, it's a pretty good chance the ball's gonna end up in a certain area that you're, you're ready for. And to me, those are the, the uh, instincts or the knowledge that I try to use while I'm out there to be in the right position. Congratulations, Tyler. So smart, she's leading me to ozone. Music, the great communicator. Use two sticks to make it in the nature. I'll get you into penetration. The gender of a generation. The birth of every other nation. Look your way to go to meditation. This chapter's gonna be a close one. Smoke rings, I know you're gonna blow one. All on a spaceship. 
Come and tell me when it's time to 